So today my wife and I went to our financial advisor and had a kind of an audit of our finances and where we are, where our retirement's looking, that sort of thing. And it dawned on me that I have not talked about finances in a while in relation to life balance and finding our purpose. And so I wanted to touch on it just a little bit and talk about your adult report card. Listen in. Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love, what we call the Third Power Life. And this is the Third Power Life Podcast. Now, for those of you that know my life balance triad, you know, the foundation is self mastery. Our framework is our relationships and the manifestation is our stuff. It's our, our financial material prosperity, right? And the foundation of material prosperity is our financial education. It's finances. And it's what I call your adult report card. Now, see, when we were in school, every nine weeks, we would get a report card. Actually, every four and a half weeks, you get your like your progress report. And every nine weeks, you get your grades for the nine weeks. And then twice a year, you get your semester grade, the official grade, right? But every four and a half weeks, here's how you're doing. What are your grades, right? And... You would know, oh, you know, am I doing well in math? Am I doing well in English? All of that. Now, for those of us who have been out of school for at least a couple of years (laughs) or decades or what have you, um, we don't get report cards anymore every four and a half weeks. We don't get A's, B's, C's, and D's. However, there is an adult report card, and it's called your financial statement. Now, that is not the only measure, right? There are things that are far more important than money, and I'm I'm all about that. However, if there's a problem on your financial statement, there's probably a problem in your relationship. There's probably a problem with your health. The 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 abilities that make us good at taking care of our finances generally translate into other areas as well. If you are lazy with money, you're probably going to be lazy in other areas of your life. And so I tell people all the time, know your financial statement. Where are you? And for myself, I try to do it once a month, you know, at definitely once a quarter, but at least once a month, I try to, I've got a spreadsheet that I use because I'm a data guy and a geek and I love Excel. Um, but I have, you know, what are all of my investments? All, you know, listing out all of my crypto assets, listing out my real estate assets, um, looking at what my income is, what were my expenses and figuring out, you know, am I moving in a good direction or not? Because what you don't want to happen is a decade goes by and you suddenly look at your bank account, you look at your report card, your adult report card, and go, oh shit, I'm failing investing, <laughs> right? It's too late. You, you've you lost time. You don't want to get to 50, 60, 70 years old and realize that you were failing basic economics, Right? So I'm here to tell you to find some type of a financial advisor, right? Um, Depending on where you are economically will vary who you need to go to, right? If you are barely, you know, barely paying your rent and, you know, just living paycheck to paycheck, you don't want to spend money on a fancy financial advisor that's going to get you into stocks and you need some basic, you know, here's how you would do budgeting and here's what we need to do to get you to the point where you can. 
if you do have money and you are okay, right? Which, you know, many people, the professionals are in that where they, they make enough money, but they're also spending that money, right? Get yourself somebody who understands investing, you know, find a financial advisor, find, you know, somebody that you can talk to that says, you know, here, here's what a mutual fund is, you know, here's, you know, here's what a money market is. A fascinating thing. I didn't realize that because of the interest rate hikes that are going on, you can get a money market account that's making like four and a half, five percent absolutely blew my mind. You can get a CD for 5%. It was great. I mean, a year ago, it was a quarter of a percent, right? <laughs> but, you know, I had no idea. It's, it's not my area. You know, I, I pay attention to money. I like, like stock investing. I've got a 401k and, you know, I play with it, but I'm not in it all the time. I had no idea that, money markets and CDs were back to that, where they're very safe investments. But, you know, I was looking at my savings account where, you know, I had earned nine cents in interest for the month of February. <laughs> and that same money that was there could have been making, you know, 20, 30, whatever dollars, you know, in the same amount of time. And so... I wouldn't have known that without going to my financial advisor. And, you know, we are, we can't all be masters of everything. So find people, align yourself with people who are smarter than you are, especially around financial education, right? We, we need to know, we need to have some investments. We need to be create, you know, building assets for our lives. And, you know, my favorite definition of an asset, Robert Kiyosaki, um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, if you haven't read it, great book. <clears throat> but his definition of an asset is something that I've, I've used for several decades. An asset puts money in your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket. The house that, you own, that, I, that I own, right, is a liability. If I were to lose my income... It's going to eat me because I still have to pay the electric. I still have to pay the mortgage. I still have to do pay the taxes. I still have to, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Where a rental house, if it's positive income, that's an asset now because it's going to feed you if you lose your income. And so we need to constantly be on the lookout for things that are assets that will be putting money into our pockets. Um, so I just, I want you to pay attention to your adult report card. And if you haven't looked at it in a while, it can be sometimes scary. It's like, I don't, I don't want to know, right? But as scary as it may be, we got to know. Here's where, here's where I'm starting, right? And that's where all of our goals, all of our purpose, it's where am I now? So sort through that, do your financial statement, come up with what are my expenses? What are my liabilities? How much money am I making? What's my budget? Am I, am I spending more each month? What does my credit situation look like? What's my credit score? All of those things that we need to know. Look at your adult report card. It's important. And from there, we can start forward. Because that's how you live your life to the third power is by having control of your finances. Till tomorrow, my friends. I'm glad you enjoyed this podcast. Please let us know what impacted you in today's episode. You can join our Discord or Facebook community to connect with like-minded people that want a real third power life. You can go to thirdpowerlife.com or look in the show notes for links. And remember... Hit that like, subscribe, and rate button for the Third Power Life podcast. Until next time. <laughs>